Planning is the key to successful wintering. Providing a written description of how, where and what you will do is an important step for getting it right next season. In this video, we'll show you an example of how to create a wintering plan using the Dairy NZ Break Fed Wintering Guide. First, let's look at the physical elements that must be considered when selecting a paddock for winter cropping. The cropping history, are there any weed or pest issues? The soil type, how waterlogged will the soil get over winter? The slope of the paddock, steeper paddocks have an increased risk of overland flow of water, soil and nutrients. The location of any critical source areas and any waterways. A critical source area is an area of the paddock where water and overland flows can accumulate. The prevailing direction of the weather. This is so that you can provide shelter for animals. The ease of management over the winter. This is for both people and cows as paddocks with complex layouts and multiple risk areas may make it difficult to manage. Creating a wintering plan on paper benefits everyone involved. Your farm team will know where the crop paddocks will be located and how they will be managed over winter. Contractors and agronomists will know where and how you want to crop the paddock so they can plan for nutrient requirements, spraying, cultivation and drilling. So to do this we're going to create a wintering plan based on this paddock, paddock 25. The paddock is 4 hectares, the farmer plans to crop it for next winter. Step 1. Draw the outline of the paddock. Add the paddock number. Note the map direction with a north arrow. Now mark any other obvious landmarks like laneways and trees. If there is shelter, add it in now. Finally, add the direction of the prevailing wind. Step 2. Identifying risk areas and paddock features. Where are the critical source areas in the paddocks? Draw them in. Draw waterways, swales and wetlands if they are present. Note the gateways and access to the paddock. Finally, where are the water troughs? Step 3. Planning the cultivation and grazing. Draw the exclusion or buff areas that are required. This includes buffers to waterways and critical source areas, which will remain uncultivated. Next, draw the intended direction of cultivation. Cultivating across a slope is a good way of reducing the risk of overland flow. Then draw the direction of grazing that works for the paddock. Strategic downhill grazing of the crop will reduce the risk of overland flow. Next, plan the setup of portable troughs that will be used in the paddock. Using portable troughs minimises cow movement and reduces the risk of pugging. Think about where you're going to place your bales or supplement in the paddock. They may need to be put out early to avoid damage to the soil. Finally, how will the paddock be fenced? This includes front fences, back fences and catch fences. A catch fence prevents animals from accessing the whole paddock if they break through the front fence. This exercise should be carried out for each paddock so that the contractors, advisors and farm staff all know how winter cropping will be done on the farm. Planning for adverse weather events is a crucial part of successful wintering. The welfare of your cows should be front of mind when creating a strategic plan for wet weather challenges around access to food and water, shelter and sufficient lying times. Here are some options to prepare for adverse weather. Remove your cows to dry crop paddocks elsewhere on the farm that preferably have shelter. Have standoff facilities that can be used during this time. This could include yards, laneways or feed pads as a temporary solution in adverse weather. Use existing tree blocks or shelter belts on the farm as an alternative during this time. In summary, successful winter planning is good for the environment, the cows and the people involved. Wintering good management practice supports animal health and welfare, minimises contaminant loss to the environment, protects valuable topsoil, complies with regional council regulations and it complements the overall dairy farm system and the work of the farm team. For more information, visit our website, dairynz.co.nz.